The global community of computational molecular scientists really faces tremendous challenges, but also tremendous opportunities. I'm Daniel Crawford, I'm a professor of chemistry at Virginia Tech, and I'm the director of the Molecular Sciences Software Institute here in Blacksburg, Virginia. The host of what we like to call grand scientific challenges, from the development of new drugs to the development of new innovative energy storage materials, these problems are often so complex that we struggle to apply our best ideas to them because of limitations in our community's chief tools, and that is our software. Our community has developed many wonderful methods, models, ideas for attacking complex chemical problems, but our codes can't talk to each other. They can't interoperate. And so we at the MOLSI are working to create a new culture of education, of collaboration and cooperation to try to solve them. My name is Dua Al Tarawi. I have a PhD in computer science from Virginia Tech. My research is in machine learning and algorithms applied to systems biology, bioinformatics, and software engineering. I work in MOLSI as a software scientist. I like the teamwork here. It's a great place for minorities and underrepresented groups and very inclusive environment. At MOLC, we work with the community to come up with open standards to use to communicate between software, and we also build infrastructures and solutions that remove the barrier and reduce it between different codes. My name is Jessica Nash. I'm a software scientist here at MOLC. When MOLC was proposed, there were a number of scientific problems or research areas that we really thought that improved software and computational molecular science could help with. Two of those areas were on intrinsically disordered proteins and catalysis. So intrinsically disordered proteins are um, proteins which lack a specific three-dimensional structure. These proteins actually end up being kind of hard to study experimentally, and so computational molecular science really has this opportunity to go in and help, but we really need new software for that. We need new techniques or advanced sampling methods. So that's something that MOLSI really hopes to, to help out with. My name is Daniel Smith. I'm a software scientist here at MOLSI. My primary job is to work through a lot of the educational aspects, looking at especially the software best practices, like how do we approach things, uh, how do we take things from industry and apply them to our field. MOLSI has the chance to help coordinate the impact of the computational molecular sciences with industry uh, by holding conversations, trying to figure out exactly what industry needs and wants, and looking at ways to communicate this back to academia and vice versa. We also look at large open source projects, especially from NumFocus and the Open Source Initiative. Um, we try to see how they apply uh, things like continuous integration, uh, code coverage, to build these large communities where we have uh, very active uh, code repositories from a very large number of contributors. This openness to code is a very beneficial experience. As a member of the Computational Molecular Sciences community, how can you work with the MOLSI? Well, the first is to engage us at our website, molsi.org, where groups that are focused on specific software infrastructure needs are already working together. Second, participate in our many workshops, summer schools, boot camps, hackathons, and many other activities where, from which hundreds of, of researchers worldwide have already benefited. Third, for those who develop or use molecular sciences software, help us to identify the most important infrastructure problems that face our community. The MOLSI is here to help with the heavy lifting in dealing with these problems. You can connect with us on social media, through our email list, or directly with our software scientist team to make sure that your voice is heard. It's up to the molecular sciences community itself to own and drive this effort and the MOLSI is here to help.